Can I ask you a question? You have a friend of your daughter's staying with you, correct? Yes. What does she call you? She hasn't said my name. Oh. Huh? She just showed up last night, so she hasn't said, oh, hello, Mr. O'Brien, or... Do the kids' friends call you Mr. O'Brien? Yes. Yeah. Because that was something that happened, started in grade school, is that apparently the word went out, you call parents Mr. O'Brien or Mrs. O'Brien. And they do that. And I used to think, that's a little formal. I don't know that I need that. But the second a kid says, hey, Conan, I want to tear into their torso <laughs> what the fuck? with like my sharpened nails, what yeah. the pull their heart out yeah. and eat it in front of them. Yeah. Oh Maybe an overreaction no. or <laughs> proportionate. Uh, pr pr thank you. Yeah. Proportionate. Uh, yeah. The minute I heard and my son once a number of years ago when he was a little realized that all he had to do was say, <laughs> my son is quite large now and, and, and older. My son is in his late fifties, but my, my son said, okay, Conan. Ooh. And he, and I said wow. like, okay, okay. And he was like, all right, I'll try better, Conan. Wow. And I'm like, well, it's, you know, That's I'm daddy. I'm, you call me dad or daddy. And he knew that it's, it really does push a button. Oh, it re he really big timed you there. Yeah. That's now what so about funny. you? What do you want kids to call you? Mr. Mulaney. Yes. Yeah. I, sometimes I say, call me Dr. O'Brien. No. Oh, but yeah. you're not a doctor. I'm not. Do you yeah. have uh, Do you have honorary degrees? I don't know. Who knows those things? He does. He does? Yeah, from Dartmouth. Dartmouth. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Why'd you laugh then? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you laugh if it's so cool? It's great. You were expecting oh, a different great. school, didn't you? It's great that Dartmouth gave you a... <laughs> <laughs> Did Co was Cornell booked that? <laughs> Uh, get the tissues. <laughs> get the tissues for Dom DeLuise. <laughs> Was Cornell book? <laughs> oh, we. I want. I want the blooper reel on you ripping into different schools. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a speech there. They uh, it was not a prerequisite. I didn't ask for it. They gave it to me. You got a bachelor's, or you got a P you got a doctorate. He got a doctorate. What? Uh, wow. Was it of letters? Arts, arts or something? Yeah, arts. Of yeah. course, arts. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you? What, what I'm do you a scientist? Mean? <laughs> in my own way, I'm a scientist. You know, in the in the 1700s, you would have just taken over your dad's job, and you would have been a scientist. Yeah. Dad would have dropped dead when you were 15. Yeah. Instead and I, of still being alive. It's <laughs> yeah. insane. Yeah. It is insane. You're like 60. And my guys, dad, my you're dad, sixty, and you walk around with a dad. My dad. <laughs> At this point, you guys should be brothers. And a mom. You should just be brothers. My dad, my dad is ninety-four. He fought in the Boer War. Look it up, kids. The Boer War. Yeah, he fought. Oh, come on. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's still going strong. But you're right. In the olden times, oh yeah, were my father to first of all, no one lived past fifty. Uh, he would have dropped in the field. Uh, and I would have taken over his medical practice yeah. and I would have been a phrenologist. I would have measured the bump, felt the bumps on people's heads and decided if they were sociopaths or not. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing. And I would have been very respected. Yeah. It would have been a better life for me. And you would have been working, you would have been training to do that from a very early age. Yes. You'd had no childhood. People always go, oh, poor Michael Jackson, he had no childhood. But you know who else didn't is anyone born before 1910. Yes. Yeah. And they Thank didn't you. marry children with a giraffe as a witness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This what? Is, is that the first hard take you've heard on MJ? Yeah. You this never is, heard? Yeah, it's a pretty sacred cow in comedy to not go after him. We now know. Wow. We now know. Sona, a lot of people have negative takes on it. We now know why John was not asked to give the eulogy at Michael Jackson's funeral. I had a nice version. I had no, two versions. No, I read your nice I version. I had two versions. I read your nice that's version. Exactly what the, that's exactly what the host said. I read the nice version, and it leads with the whole giraffe, no childhood thing. I had a version without that, and I was perfectly willing to call in an audible and switch it on the fly, and the organizers knew that. But did I get led into Staples Center? No. <laughs> you know, I... Sona was a new hire when Michael Jackson shuffled off his mortal coil uh, backwards. And... Um, <laughs> Come on, he man. moonwalked off that mortal coil. Oh, no. Any hoots. Sona was new, and I called her from the car, and I said, this is terrible about Michael Jackson. She said, yeah, and I said, okay, well, here's... Was that a test? That was the final test well, and to I said, No, and then I said, uh, you know, 
just arrange uh, like a private viewing. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. And I said, I want a private viewing. And, um, I, and I heard her writing it down like private viewing. And I said, so just find out who we talked to. I'd like some time alone with Michael. And I said, I, I don't, <laughs> don't want to run into Tito. Yes. And I really don't want to run into the dad. Mm -hmm. And you said, and I heard you going, don't run into I dad. I just started. She had right. just started. Yeah. So I came to work and the first thing I did was march into her office and she was starting to make calls. And I saw in her pad, she had listed all of the things that I had said. Yeah. Very no Dito, no Joe Jack. Yeah. No Dito, no Joe Jackson. And then Joe you Jackson, said you wanted private. to adopt Blanket. That was a separate call yeah. two days later. Oh okay. But I told her, no, that was just a joke. But then I called you again two days later and said, uh, I want to, um, can you get in touch with my lawyer? Yeah. And we're like, okay. And I said, this is her name and it should be in there. And you're like, okay. And, blah, 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 and she's going to need to figure out, we're also going to need to talk about adoption law. And again, right. she, and I said, yeah. And she said, what's this all? And she said, I, I, uh, I'm going to want to adopt a uh, blanket. And she just hung up on me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when I knew I had I hired. I just started working for him. <laughs> like I was so new and he didn't care. I would believe you. I would believe him too. Yeah. It's just, a st he's a stone's throw from, Michael's inner circle. I, I was. <laughs> no, I mean, two a, calls a and you've got stone's throw. two I phone was. calls and you've got Quincy Jones or Barry Diller or someone who worked with Michael. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I mean, yes. Thank you. It's Conan O'Brien. I don't yes. know if yeah. you know who I was calling on yet. Okay. No, All no. Right. I could get, I, that would have been fine. That would have been You no wouldn't problem. have known, I wouldn't have known at least at the ready that he didn't, you know, introduce yeah. him uh, during the... Uh, for black or white tours, yeah, you know, exactly. you, I wouldn't know in the, I wouldn't know at no, the ready. No, because Conan didn't do that. Yes, because uh, I was uh, a known person when you were young, right? And so, for all you know, I partied with, you know, Al Jolson. Like I, you know, any pick yeah. anyone from the 1920s. You link me to all those people. Yeah, yeah, it's very plausible. Sure.